Hello, Seagulls. It's Thursday, June 10th. Thank you for joining us for the first of this summer's monthly briefings. I want to start by telling you how proud I am of our student athletes this year. In spite of all the extra things they had to do to keep the COVID virus at bay, our athletes practiced, they played, and they won. Some of our teams won big. The men's lacrosse team played in the national championship game, barely being edged by Rochester Institute of Technology, but our women's lacrosse team won their fourth national championship, beating Tufts University in the final game. And on Tuesday, our baseball team won the College World Series national championship. Congratulations to all of our student athletes for a fantastic year of competition. It's only June, but we're already gearing up for our most normal fall semester since 2019. When students return in August, we expect to be at 100% classroom capacity with more than 80% of classes being held face-to-face -face or hybrid, similar to where we were before the pandemic. We're also looking forward to more in-person experiential learning, including research, performing arts, internships, and clinicals. That said, we won't be able to return to 100% pre-pandemic operations. Face masks continue to be required inside SU buildings this summer. And that requirement, along with appropriate social distancing, is likely to continue to some extent in the fall. I can tell you that the closer we get to 100% vaccination, the more normal campus will feel for students and employees. You've heard about various restrictions for those that remain unvaccinated. We urge you to get the vaccine to help protect everyone here on campus. And that will allow you to fully participate in all that SU has to offer. If you haven't already done so, I'd encourage you to look at trusted medical sources for more vaccine information. And if you don't know where to go, just call SU's Campus Health. As we announced last month, there is a process through which university community members can request an exemption from the USM vaccine requirement based on documented health or religious concerns. If you believe you qualify for an exemption, please send email to campushealth at salisbury.edu to begin that process. However, you should know that even if you're granted an exemption, you still will be required to get an SU-administered COVID test twice weekly in order to access campus buildings and services. Also, keep in mind that losing campus access for missing an assigned COVID-19 test will not be considered an excused absence for class or for work. For those who are not yet vaccinated, there are still plenty of opportunities to do so. SU still has slots open for our next vaccination clinic, scheduled for 9.45 a.m. through 3 p.m. on Wednesday, June 23rd in MAG's gym. We're happy to offer this clinic not only for current SU students and employees, but also for adult family members of employees as well. The Wacomico County Health Department also continues to offer vaccinations daily by appointment. For those seeking the one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the Maryland Department of Health will continue to provide walk-up and pre-registration appointments at its mass vaccination clinic at the Wacomico Youth and Civic Center through Saturday, June 19th. Please follow the instructions on your screen to pre-register appointments at any of these venues. For students who may be outside the Wacomico County area this summer, most local pharmacies and health departments and some hospitals also continue to offer the COVID-19 vaccine. Please consult these institutions in your area for more information. SU will accept any vaccine approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration or the World Health Organization to satisfy the USM vaccination requirement. In addition to receiving your vaccination, it's also important to complete the online SU COVID-19 consent form, which allows the university to access your vaccination records. Please make sure you check all three boxes on the form. If you haven't done so already, your target date to complete that form and receive your first dose of the vaccine is Tuesday, July 6th. This will ensure that you're fully vaccinated by the beginning of the fall semester. 
Once SU receives confirmation from your records that you're fully vaccinated, that's two weeks after your second shot of the two-dose vaccine or your lone shot of the one-dose vaccine, you will receive notification in your SU email. All employees must take an SU-administered return to campus COVID-19 test between June 1st and August 23rd. For students, that test must be taken by August 29th. If you've received an email confirmation that SU has your vaccination record on file, this will be the final COVID-19 test that you'll need to maintain campus access for the remainder of 2021. Now, speaking of vaccines, SU is proud to be one of 263 colleges and universities in the nation participating in the COVID-19 College Vaccination Challenge, which is sponsored by the White House and the U.S. Department of Education. Through this program, we have vowed to provide you with information on vaccine eligibility and access to continue our university vaccination plan and coordinate on-campus vaccination opportunities. I mentioned July 6th as a target date for receiving your first vaccination shot. That date is also important for another reason. Beginning July 6th, all SU staff are expected to return to campus unless told otherwise by your supervisor or vice president. Though many employees have returned to campus already, this will be the first time since March 2020 that nearly all staff will be back in their offices ready to continue serving students and other members of the SU community. For areas where teleworking may still take place on a limited basis, please remember that all SU telework agreements signed in 2020 will expire on June 30th. One of the most frequently asked questions I've received beyond campus is when SU will resume in-person cultural events and other activities open to the public. I'm happy to announce that date is nearing. A few months ago, we were fortunate to be able to start allowing Seagull Athletics fans back into most of our outdoor facilities on a limited basis. This fall, we anticipate a gradual return of in-person cultural events as well, though some virtual opportunities also will remain. Please continue to check the SU website and watch for the new edition of SU's Panorama Events publication in August for more details. For students, this also will mean a greater likelihood of face-to-face -face recreational activities in the fall. I can't tell you how excited I am about this possibility. In the meantime, we also will be able to open the campus on a limited basis for some community members this summer. Last week, we were pleased to host the Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce for an event on campus. Registration is open for elementary, middle, and high school students interested in attending SU's Summer Enrichment Academies in July and August. And starting next month, some campus outreach organizations will once again welcome community volunteers and constituents back to SU. I know this has been a long 15 months for all of you. While it's important to know that we are not done with COVID-19 yet, our hope is to provide an environment as close to normal as possible for the second half of 2021. Okay, Seagulls, that wraps up our briefing for June. The next one will be Thursday, July 8th. In the meantime, please monitor your SU email and the SU COVID-19 website for the most up-to-date information and continue to submit your questions to stayinformed at salisbury.edu. Be safe, and I'll see you next month, and go Gulls!